Hi, it's Stacey Erickson Edwards from CPAPbabes.com. I'm doing a quick um, screencast today. One of my favorite, favorite things to do um, is to show people kind of my before and after pictures from um, before I got diagnosed with CPAP. Uh, sleep apnea and then um, after. So it's very, very subtle, but even I'm looking at all my Facebook pictures. Oh, I missed this shirt. That was a cool shirt. I don't know what I do with that. Um, this one is from January. It says 2012, but it's January 2013, a photo by um, my good friend, Lydia Brewer photography. Um, if you look at this picture, um, so Lydia Brewer is a very talented photographer. If you live in Seattle, you should hire her for your family portraits. If you live elsewhere, you should fly her out for your family portraits. Um, looking at this picture, so it's a professional picture because she's a professional photographer. It's from our Disneyland trip. Even this picture where I'm beautifully retouched, look at that. I don't know if you can see my um, mouse. I think you can on the screencast. Look at those bags on my eyes. That just blows my mind. So even though I look so cute, my makeup is done and everything, it's the eyes are so, so tired and that happened for many years. So this is 2013. If we go back a little bit further, I mean, I, so I started, if you've watched some of my other videos, even this one too, this is the same trip. Look at my poor eyes. Oh my God. They're just so tired. Um, so you can kind of see over, I was in a really bad accident in this one. Um, these are pictures other people take. My eyes aren't as tired as this is 2011. 2011, I was feeling yucky, but not quite so bad. Um, cause it hadn't really gotten really bad yet. So, but I just love looking at old pictures to kind of see how far I've come. My friends and I get crazy. That's some of these pictures. So, um, but yeah, it's been very interesting to me to see kind of the evolution of everything. Um, I really am looking for even this one. This is very long time ago. It's my friend couple of my friends. Um, if you look at my face in this one, still, I look so tired. This is before I wore makeup, but crazy. I was a lot skinnier. Ha! Huh? Anyway, so that's, and then this, this one too, this is 2009. So I still kind of had the eye thing going on, especially that eye. One of my eyes is smaller than the other, but it was my friend Chad, but that, um, it's not quite as bad. It really got bad the last couple of years before I did was diagnosed. The reason I love this picture though is because um, this is at a wedding I went to at the Arboretum and then I just got married at the Arboretum um, in Seattle like two months ago. So I love the throwback. So anyway, even this one, I think I was kind of drunk in this one, but just it's just crazy to see how different I look. It's in this, I was kind of sweaty, but my just my skin tone, I feel like even though I'm wearing makeup looks different. So just kind of saggy and puffy. So anyway, a lot of these are pretty old. Sorry, I'm getting tons of notifications. So uh, if we go a little, no, oh, I didn't mean to click on that. If we go a little bit um, later, these are current ones, but let's go right before I was diagnosed. So I think this one is right, is this right before I was I diagnosed? This is about six months before I got diagnosed. This is when I started to feel really, 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 really yucky. And you can see just my skin tone. I know it's they're all kind of different quality pictures. But my skin tone is just not really bright like it is now. And then my eyes are, um, again, really, really puffy. This is when I started to get really fed up. And actually 20, May, 2015, this is when I went to my doctor and I was like, I'm done. I'm trying not to swear. I'm effing done. Like whatever. And she think, put me on more meds. Cool. So, um, these are some of my favorites too. This is my, um, me and my husband, my boyfriend up time, my feet not my fiance yet. Um, this was a pretty big turning point. That's my old car. I miss my old car. Um, and these are the pictures I almost always, this picture I almost always use in like whenever I do before and afters. Um, again, I was a bridesmaid at my friend's wedding, full makeup, but the, if you can see the eyes and then the face shape and the skin tone are just, just blow my mind. And I'm not saying I'm perfect now. I still have my tired days, but just comparing this to how I look now is different. So that was about this one, uh, I think September 19th is when it was, I think at their wedding. Can't remember, sorry, Maria. Um, and then I was diagnosed November 4th. So this is one more, was this after I got diagnosed? This one is, oh, this is January 14th. So see, you can see a little bit 
again, I'm wearing makeup in this a little bit better after a couple months. So, um, then what is this one? This is September 26th. I look tired still. Um, my next favorite ones are, this is right, right, right before I got diagnosed. And this is my best friend's wedding. Um, they're so cute. We're all so cute, but it's just, this is like kind of, I consider these pictures like the, basically the last professional pictures I got, I took of myself before being diagnosed. So if you can see my eyes are like so squinty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's my face shape in this. I think it's just squinty. Um, cause my, I was so tired. I couldn't function. This was like a really beautiful day, but I was really, really suffering this day. Cause I just wasn't feeling well. And I was just like, I don't know what's wrong with me guys, whatever. I had just done my sleep study, but I actually, I thought I had narcolepsy because how could a not super overweight girl who doesn't snore have sleep apnea? Yeah, you can. I know that now. So anyway, these are my favorite before pictures, the two weddings I went to. Even this picture I love, it's so cute. That's We're showing off our Spanx, hi Kyla. But see just how different I look. So that was that. Then um, this, this is me about July 9th. This is my bridal shower. So do you see how different, even with full makeup, um, I should put these side by side. I don't know how right now. Maybe I'll do that. How even with full makeup, how my eyes look a little whiter. My face looks just not puffy. My, eye, my eyes actually look a ton whiter, which is crazy. should probably wax my eyebrows, but whatever. It's expensive. Um, and then this one is my husband and I camping. So this one's funny because this one is after I got diagnosed, but look at my eyes in this one. You'd be like, what? CPAP's not making a difference funny story. This, um, was when I was camping and I didn't use my seatbelt for like three nights. So yeah, funny. So again, I'm not perfect, but whatever. Um, this is my little goddaughter. How cute is she with her seatbelt? Because we're besties and she actually has sleep apnea. That's not why we're besties. So anyway, this one also is about a month after I got diagnosed when I was still really tired. So I guess, oh, Okay. So this one says, I slept so long that my CPAP app started tracking the hours for Sunday. So I was still really, really catching up. This is about a little bit a month after I got diagnosed. So that cracked me up because I slept 12 hours and then it went into 13 hours. So it did take some time. And if you watch my other videos, I'll tell, I tell a little bit about how kind of after I got diagnosed, the steps I need to get through. So this is another one that I like to show people before CPAP. That's that before picture I told you I like to use four days of CPAP. So look how, and again, it's kind of the angle, but how different I look after. Um, so this is before, this is after four days. That's after 24 days. I know it is different camera angles, but even the skin tone just blows my mind. Like my skin just looks more even and clearer and happier. And it's cool. And everyone says, your cat turned into a dog. Your dog turned into a cat. Shut up. That's my, that's, those aren't even my pets. That's my friend's dog and my friend's cat. So Anyway, that's what I want to show you. And then my favorite pictures, of course, I just got married. How cute am I? So I do still have some eye bags. I'm not going to say actually <laughs> that picture. I look, I think I look amazing, but, um, the stress of doing a wedding. Oh my gosh. Of course you're going to get eye bags, right? But I look pretty cute. I think I look good now. So I'm really happy with just the really subtle changes in my looks. Um, even this was a couple weeks ago. I just think like, this is how I look now. And I just, I just bought a Chevy Malibu. Love Chevy Malibus. Um, just to see how different my face looks just blows my mind. I'm so, so happy. So Again, not perfect. It's not like I can say, oh, I look so different all the time, but it, I can definitely tell. Um, I haven't lost very much weight, but I maybe lost five or 10 pounds since then. Oh, how cute are we? Yeah, I definitely have the eye bags in this, but um, yeah, it's, I feel very lucky to be, to be looking different and I'm very happy. So thanks for letting me share my story. Okay. CPATBabes.com. Bye.